All right, so I don't exactly know what to say about this thing. Have you ever had mixed feelings where something's super awesome but you don't know what it's for? I kind of feel like that's where I'm at with this machine. Right now, as this video is starting, I'm just sitting on my couch and I'm playing Tomb Raider on a handheld, which I don't know why you'd specifically want to play Tomb Raider on a handheld, but it's possible. And I'm not streaming it over from my computer, I'm playing it on it. It is powering the game. Take a look, I'm just, I'm standing in the woods at the moment, but um, yeah, I'm just, it's powering it. I'm not plugged into anything, and this thing is really not that big. But it's doing it, and I'm not sure what it's exactly for, and maybe you can help me decide what it is for. Um, once I tell you everything else it can do, but until then, let's just see what all it can do. All right, so here it is. It is the GPD. I gotta look over here now. Win Gamepad Tablet PC. Which is a lot of words for a device, or at least to describe a device. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what this is trying to be besides a Gamepad Tablet PC. Which describes it fairly well. It's a touch screen, it's 5.5 inches, its resolution is 720p, it's 1280 by 720. So it's got okay resolution, it's got an okay size screen. It's about the size of a big ish phone. So a big ish phone screen connected to basically a big battery, a full keyboard, buttons to play games like a like a joystick, you know, D-pad and A B, X, Y, all that. So you have those capabilities to game on it. You can use it as a full computer. It has full blown Windows 10 64 bit on it. It's not like a vanilla down version. It's full on Windows OS. So it has all that going for it and powering it is an Intel, I gotta look, it's an Intel Cherry Trail Z8700 with Intel HD graphics, the built-in graphics, but they do really well. It's at 1.6 gigahertz and it boost clocks up to 2.4 and so it actually has a bit of power. It also has four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It comes with 64 uh, gigs of memory inside. You know, with the OS installed to it, you have about 50 gigs left over and ready to install games to. And the first thing I did when I turned this on is there's no like bloatware installed to it. It had one thing and it's, it's Steam. It's basically saying it wants to play games. And as you saw for a second, it can do that. And it can do it honestly fairly well, at least for something that's this size. It can play games really, really well, or at least well enough that it surprises me with how well they do. Games I've been able to test and play on it, I've played Overwatch on it, which it played it at about 20 FPS on low. Not super great, and honestly, Overwatch on this was very difficult to play, but hey, it, it did play the game. It was able to run it. Um, Tomb Raider ran at 25 FPS on low um, and 30. It, it, it jumps between 25 and 30. It doesn't usually go too far past that. But then if I break it down to other games that are really fun to play, maybe not super graphically demanding, but it played very smooth. Um, I played Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead runs incredibly well in this thing, and it's like actually playable. So Left 4 Dead ran fine. Darkest Dungeon ran fine. Hearthstone runs fine, Rocket League runs on like medium low settings and looks fairly good. Um, just other games I tried was Terraria and Edge and Halo Spartan Assault. All those games ran completely fine. So for games that can play, if you're looking at those mid-tier like kind of indie-ish games or games that don't require crazy settings, it'll play all of that. The question comes down to is, do you want to play it on a five and a half inch screen? And for me, if I'm on the road, that might be actually okay, but some of these games are difficult to read, kind of the layout, because that's not a huge screen. I would love to see this thing in like a six and a half inch or seven inch version. You'd get a bigger area down here to work with. Um, you could maybe even put more tech inside of it. Not that it needs a lot more, honestly, it's pretty good. It's got um, Bluetooth 4.1. It has really good wireless in it too. Um, you can stream over from Steam on your computer if you wanna stream games to this instead of playing certain ones if they're way too demanding and you happen to, happen to be in your house. You wanna sit on your couch and you wanna stream across the game and play it. As long as your network in your house is good, It'll do that just fine too. I tried that with Dirt Rally for a little bit. Um, it played okay. My my net did not want to handle it within the house super well, um, so I got little sputters. But that's about as fast paced as a game gets with uh, you know precise inputs. So and it didn't really feel too laggy. I mean the inputs felt good besides the little specks of lag. And once again, I think that's just my network in my house. 
Other things about this that are interesting or, or worth noting on the back of it, it charges with USB type C. So it's got new charging and new connectivity on the back. It's got HDMI out on the back. It's got a USB 3.0 port on the back. It's got a headphone jack and it has expansion. You can add up to another 128 gigabyte micro SD card to expand um, with on the memory. So if you want more storage space, you can do that. Another thing you can also do is on the back of it, it's actually got a fan inside this thing built in. You can adjust the fan noise, or not noise, I say noise, basically it's a fan noise, but what it does is you can turn your fan off or put on medium or put on high. And so you can cool the device, so if you're just like browsing the web, you don't need to worry about it overheating or doing anything, you can have the fan off completely. Or if you wanna play a game, it's gonna heat up a little bit in your hand, just turn the fan up and there's a little fan in there to help cool it down. So actually kind of interesting considering this is pretty thin. It's not a huge fan, but it does a decent job to cool the device. I've been really impressed with what it can do with games. And I'm really impressed with the battery life of the device too. It has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, if you don't understand how much that is, comparatively, that's at least, or about two times bigger than a phone. Um, and in some phones, if your phone's a little bit older, it's probably three times bigger. Um, so that's a lot for this. Literally right now, here, I'll just pull it up. We're at 100% for backlighting. I don't have battery saver on. I have 65% battery life. It says I have five hours remaining of life. The other day when I was on this, just browsing the internet when it was pretty full, it said I could get about 12 hours of battery life. I'm assuming because of playing games, if you're playing a moderately stressful game, you'd probably get two to three hours out of it playing a game the whole time. I could be wrong, obviously. I've, I haven't tried to play a game that long on it because the screen size is just not quite big enough. It starts to hurt my eyes. Things could be bigger. Like I said, a bigger screen would go a lot further on this device. But overall, to take something on the go that has basically full windows, full web browsing, all of those features, um, that is really nice. If there's two things I would love to see added to this but would probably be difficult would be a microphone. It does not appear to have one, or at least I couldn't get mine to work. It looks like there's one down here, but I mean, does it say? It says it has a mic, it says mic supported. So does it have a mic? It probably has a mic, but I could not get it to work with Cortana. So maybe it just is not configured. I might have to look into that more. And maybe a webcam would be okay too, because then you could do stuff like Skype, um, which would be cool if you wanted to like really take this thing on the go. I just can't figure out exactly where it fits into maybe my life. If you can figure out where it fits in your life, you know, that's that's where you wanna maybe consider getting something like this. When I see this on sale, it's usually about $300 or it's right around there, which really isn't crazy for a touchscreen, full windows, it's all come set up, it'll play games. It's really not a terrible deal, especially for something this size. So. You kind of have to ask yourself, where would this fit in your life? Do you want to play games on it? Do you want to surf the internet on it? Do you not own a laptop? Maybe you're a little bit younger and you like playing handheld games like on a PSP or on a DS, but you have Steam games on your computer at home and you want something on the go. This might be actually perfect for that. That's like, that's the case where I say, I see this fitting. Outside of that, someone like me, I have a tablet. I have a laptop. I don't hardly use my laptop. I rather use my tablet or my phone. And I have my computer, my desktop. Like. I don't need anything like this specifically. I mean, I might take it traveling a little bit. I'm gonna see how well that does if I go on some trips. Um, but other than that, you know, my tablet and my phone pretty much get me by, but hey, it's pretty good and it's got good battery life, so I can't really knock it too bad there. Um, when it comes to other features, I mean, it's it's pretty good to go. I mean, for the most part, that's what it comes with. I pretty much covered, I think, all of the stuff you wanna know about, all the main things. But hey, it's really not crazy. Like, I expected, not as much from this as I got, which for that reason, a little surprised. But once again, I can't figure out exactly where it fits. If you know where it fits, I would love to know down below in the comments. Um, Cause yeah, it's just weird. It's interesting. I'll put it that way. I would love to see where this goes in about two to three years, if it can get smaller, even play games a little bit better and give me a little bit bigger screen. Cause legit, if this had like a seven inch screen, it was a little bit closer to a tablet tablet size. I think we'd have a super awesome winner here with some pretty cool features, honestly. So um, let me know what you guys think and I'll see all of you guys in the next video.